Hello everybody. Um, so I'm back. As I said, I think I'm just going to do this free enterprise run. I need to relax a little. The shark attack uh, bullshit kind of wound me up. So I created a fun yet not super easy seed. At least it shouldn't necessarily be. Free enterprise. Um, and, and just for the real fun, you can't see it here, but the seed I used was uh, F-U-K-S-H-A-R-K. Fuck shark. Because fuck shark. <sighs> All right, Kane start. That's certainly not terrible. So yeah, I, I used the uh, key item four flag, so that'll make things really fun. Um, let's see here. Can I change this real quick? It's, there we go. That's always bothered me, even though. All right, so I get Yang and Kang and the Crystal Sword. <laughs> well then, interesting start. Um, yeah, I'm using the key item four, which means uh, trap chest will contain key items, so I have to find all of that. Uh, anything other notable? Treasure 4, so you can find anything in shops. Uh, boss 2, which means there's no, like, guarantee you won't have to fight certain really hard bosses early. But for the most part, fairly not too difficult flags otherwise. Oh, I'm also doing Forge of the Crystal. Uh, that is annoying. Let me. Oh wait, wait, wait. That's what that would be. Closure. All right. <clears throat> so, unlike most of the randomizers, when you know you have to find the crystal to beat the game, I have to forge it through the use of the adamant and legend sword. Let's see, we got Tella guarded by something. So yeah, this might be a long seed, I don't know. Uh, it's possible I'll have to tap out just due to time, I don't know. Moon Veils, certainly not bad to have. Definitely gonna want some. I don't wanna sell the Crystal Dagger though, nor the Dancing Dagger, they're too good, or the Age of Seal. That's all just a little too good of stuff. I could probably sell that though. Even if I get Rydia, that's not that great of a summon to worry about. So, you know. Honestly, the only real summon you care about is Bahamut. Like, at least for me. It, there's a white spear. Well. Um, we got damage. <clears throat> like I said, this is one you can find treasures everywhere. I, I made it somewhat easy in that aspect. Because, <coughs> like I said, I want to relax and have some fun. Masamune! Crystal and money. Alright, I can sell the crystal. Uh, I mean, it's nice, but I don't necessarily need it. Especially considering I can buy some moon veils and who knows when I'll need that. I can also sell Levia, Iron Spear, Crystal. There we go. Five moon veils. That'll definitely help a lot. Uh, I could try and get Tella, but I'm not that worried about him right now. So, let's go see who's in Troya, in case I get the Sand Ruby. Mm. Poison X can be useful if I get Sid, but that's about it. We got one of the mages, Palum, I think. I can never tell them apart anymore. 
Like playing this as a kid, I'll, I I knew them all in and out, and I could recognize all sorts of fun stuff. But now it's just kind of like, oh, Bacchus. Uh, I don't have anything to sell except for that, but I'll wait on that. Uh, let's just remember Bacchus, Swine, and Kaipo. Oh. Ooh, Zeus Gloves, too. And Ribbons. And Dragoons. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna come back to Kaipo. Gotta remember that, though. Come back to Kaipo. Yay, looting! Pillaging and looting! Well, it's already been pillaged, we're just looting. Sirens, another Aegis Shield, Dragoon, another Zeus, there we go. I mean, Kane's almost all kitted out already, he's not even leveled once. Mirasama and Mazamune already, all right. So yeah, this will probably be fairly easy outside of having to just find everything. The, the puzzle of finding everything. But, uh, did I do the boss 2-bit? I don't think I did. Did I? Oh, I did. No. Yeah, the boss. I didn't do the no free lunch 2-bit. That's the... So, like, Dark Sea Soul and all that still have the alternate win conditions. That would be kind of... That would have made it actually fairly difficult. Because then even if I ran it, if I ran it like Dark Cecil on the moon, I mean, he could just wreck my shit. Fusaya versus the evil wall. This should be interesting. Oh, he's got nothing great. Regen. Because I like that. I wasn't really worried about that with that spot, so. Alright, got full so yeah. The wall is dead. Peep, Piggy, and Venom. That is not what I did, but alright. Oh, let's see. So you got Shell, Charm, Dispel, Hold, I mean, nothing really good, like, we'll just have to fix that. Samurai! I'll go get these chests since these, they can have quite some good stuff in this flag set. All the Cursed Rings, you know. Hey, a Charm Claw. I mean, so if I had my pick of characters, uh, ooh, uh, I'd probably say just give me Edge and Rosa, and I, I'm done. I'm not getting any other characters. But I doubt the game's gonna be that nice. All right, let's not do what I did a while back and forget to go back to the antlion lair. Because I did that one run and it was the pass, so I went way more out there finding the dark crystal and getting to the moon. 
rather than just getting the pass. Hey, there's Bahamut. Alright, Rydia will be decent pickup if I find her right now, at least for a while. Fire armor. Bunch of monies. Hey, a ribbon. Whale. A lot of chests will have money just because of the flag set. Uh, any anything that's not considered a good item will be replaced with uh, equivalent amount of money. Also, I don't know why the menu screen is so light, but maybe it's just part of the randomizer flags or something. Ah, drums. Another defense. Why am I doing that? There's nothing over there. Ooh, Lunar Boss. Who we get? Ogopogo! Regen! Oh shit, Kane's not at full health. He might die. Uh, no, he won't die, but he's gonna be very low. Hopefully, I deal enough damage to kill him quickly. It's not quite enough, Kane. Gotta do a little more. There we go. Alright. Pogo is dead. Get drain sight and slow and a defense sword. Is that three defense swords? Is that correct? Is that uh, yeah, three defense swords? I still have no key items. Like, um, since I have foo. I'm gonna go pop in the Mist Dragon Cave and see what boss is there, if I can beat it. And pop in the Mist as well. Because that'll be a fairly easy boss. Might even check out this one right here too, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Another Lunar Boss. Plague. I don't know why I'm wasting time on regen. This might not work? I don't know. I don't even think I have life or a form of healing, so... Yeah. He he gonna sit there for a while. Uh, may, maybe in a few more levels. I, like I said, I don't even have life's the item or the form, the magic spell to heal with, so... Let's see who's in here. And I guess I'll grab the treasure too. Pale Dim. Dead pale dim. Link size and ice too. All right, that's not too bad. A coffin.
Glass helmet and a TR. All right, I like. And a crystal ring. You can't wear that, can you? Oh, you can wear glass, but I'll give you ribbon. And crystal. I'll give you glass. You can get the bandana. You, you gain enough stats for hit points where you don't really need too much defense. Might as well sell some stuff too. Cure Ninja Mute. Oh, an Avenger. Avenger's kind of worth buying, but I'm not too worried about it. Sell those defense swords, iron. Buy one just because that can be really good, especially early. Uh, Wizard Shadow Diamond Crystal Cloth. Yeah. Not too worried about any of that stuff. There's a chain as well. That is my smoke alarm. It started beeping right as I started streaming Shark Attack. So I haven't, like, it was like I clicked start stream and it's like, beep! It's like, fuck you. So yeah, that, that is my smoke alarm. <laughs> it's, it's right on the wall, like three feet away from me, so. Artemis Bow. I actually, that, nah, eh, I'm not too worried. Odin whistle, firebomb, blech. Alright, who's, who's, Assaulting Fabul today. I mean, I could go with Tella, but he's gonna be weak until I go up ordeals. Although in this seed, I probably will end up with up ordeals. Magus sisters. Ooh. Wait, what? It skipped what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can't have a shield equipped with this, can't you? Yeah, there we go. They went out of turn order! I just, that's just hilarious. wasn't too bad. I've never seen him go out of turn order, so that was interesting. Uh. Eye drops! What the shit? Like, that's not even something you really care about to begin with. Oh well, another boss down. 
And it's one that can be scary in some places, so it's nice to see him dead. Hourglass, blizzard, I could easily sell the blizzard. Actually, let me re-equip Kane with the white lance. Because my, my understanding is there's a bug in the game when you swap equipment in combat like that, you keep the stats of the original equipment. So you keep all the attack power of the White Lance, but you're using the Avenger Sword, which is Berserk, which increases your attack power, and it makes you Berserk, which increases your attack power and makes you attack. So it's kind of like, oh, hey, double whammy, let's go. Save out of pure habits, even though there's absolutely nothing dangerous here. Hey, there's some lifes. I'll buy a few of them just because. Fusia is too slow to really rely on all the time. Go near spear. Zeus rage. That was worthless. Yeah, that's pretty worthless, too. Hey, a soma drop. I will put that on Foo right now. Because he never gains magic. Like, that is one thing about Foo. He never gains any, um, MP. Alright, uh... I guess I'm going up ordeals. I can't go underground yet. I mean, I can get Tella. I'll go try Tella first. Because outside of that, um, there's not a whole lot of things left for me to do. So I'll see if I can get Tella. Because I'm going. If I'm going up ordeals, I might as well get Tella real quick. Because it is a key item. And two more bosses. Uh, ooh. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Thank you? That was just funny. I was gonna make him go berserk anyway, so hey. Ooh, Leviathan. This probably won't be anything to worry about. Unless that had like hit Kane and killed him, then it might have been a little worried. But I think we're good. Because I think he's only got like a few hundred hit points left. Yeah. Alright, so Wyvern is down, as well as Leviathan. Hey, there's Cure 3, that's always nice. Hey, the Twin Harp, I got a key item finally. And Tella. Alright, I think I'm still gonna go up Mount Ordeals. Um, that'll help Fu a lot, because that's three bosses. And a key item. And helps Tella actually be at least somewhat useful for right now. Then I'll go do the Twin Harp. Unless I get something better at Ordeals. Useful things to have every now and then, but not worth buying. Um, nope, nothing worth buying. I probably have a few things I can sell. I have dragon, so I don't need anything else. I don't need Odin. I don't need the blizzard or Gungnir spear. Uh, 
I don't really need Cursed, but I like having it as an option if I need it. Uh, I don't need the eye drops. So I'll sit on everything else for now. Until I know what my party's going to be. Um, you know what? I'll buy a white. I don't know if I want to give it to Teller or Fu. I'm going to give it to Fu. Because I'm probably not keeping Teller for forever. But until I get someone else, he's worth. He's still decent. Once I finish ordeals. Always save just because of habits of years of playing, even though I probably don't need to. Because the only thing dangerous is after the save point, so yeah. There's a crystal shield. I think Kane can use that, can't he? Oh, wait, he's been doing that stuff, so. Yeah, let me just do that. Let me put that there, make it quicker and easier. really funny like berserk is one of the better things in this game like especially used well um as a kid i absolutely hated it like i was i was puzzled why it was a white spell i was like this is terrible why i lose control of my character why would i ever want this but i didn't really key in on it, it helped it actually upped your physical attack okay this is why i'm glad i have moon veils um, let's see, uh, you go ahead and regen just because I don't think you have wall yet. Uh, you, I'll go ahead and stick with the Avenger thing happening. And then Moonbale. Actually, this would be terrible if I had if I didn't have a Star Veil. So. You're just, you're just gonna sit there for now. I'll give you the dancing dagger next turn. I forgot about it. And then start me. Alright, now I should have this fight handily won without any real problem. You can't do dancing dagger? Well, you're worthless. Um, yeah, just, just bop her with your cane. There we go. Not too terrible. Virus, sorry, that's a good one. Equip. I would always forget to do that as a kid too, is change my row. Dude. Oh, not quite. I was like, dude, dude. Did we just get a, um, vanilla Mylon Z fight? I was about to say, like, why is he not going into, uh, Berserk? Man, he's got a fast attack right here. Alright. 
No, not C. Milo. He is defeated. And there's Bursk and Float. I should probably get tell us the stuff too. I haven't even given him like anything. Okay, what boss is this? I got an Artemis bow. I'm glad I didn't buy the Artemis bow. Hey, Mist Dragon. All right, that's very useful. Um, shit. I guess you're gonna get the dancing dagger because I don't want to make you berserk on this fight. Okay. Maybe I could have made him berserk, but I don't want to risk it. So Tella has spells, so that's useful. Um, the Mist Dragon opens up another item, so I can easily just go get something. And then, if the Mist Dragon doesn't give me anything, then that just means straight to Twin Harp. Because outside of that, all I can do is dive into Evelyn Castle on the treasure chests. And I do believe that's about all that's left. Well, no, I could do Tower of Zot. I can't complete it, but I could still do it for the trapped treasure chests. Or chest. I forget how many are in there. So that's an option, too, i got to remember. What do you give me? The Legend Sword! That's actually something I need! Because <laughs> remember, I'm on Forge the Crystal, so I need the Legend Sword and the Adamant to get the Crystal. Which also means I need access to Underground. It's not optional. So I got Twin Heart. Um, so if there's anything worth buying, Dragoon, Fire, Black, Protect, Dragoon, Crystals, Silver, not much. Sell Leather. Um, I could probably sell Atiara. But I'm not hurting right now for money, so I'm just gonna sit on it. Uh, take a poison claw over his starting fire claw. and dark my 10 illusion just because it can be useful I doubt I'm gonna need them at this point but you never know so fly 
I don't know if there's any grassy spots in that town, so. as immune Edge will have his choice of weapons if I ever find him my most hated places in a vanilla run. Just because it's so goddamn annoying. More dancing daggers! Everyone has dancing daggers. Big enough! Strings is it gonna give me? Stardust is nice. I can give that to Tella. He has a magic MP free attack that bypasses a wall. Another Bahamut. Calpreneurs. Um, see. 
I don't have an hourglass, do I? That's what I should be meant to look for. I do. Hopefully, I can get through these. Oh, nice. I still haven't killed any pasts. <laughs> Although I did beat the dragon one more time recently, so I have that going. Alright, Calvert is dead. I got the hook. Yeah, I had to get something to let me progress, so. Of course, it's gonna be a hook seed. Legit nothing left for me to do except maybe go kill Plague now. I'll try that one more time. Whether or not it'll work, I don't know, but I'll try it once more. Just because Fusio buff. I used to have the Avenger one, that works too. I forgot to unequip it. Yang, you suck, you can't do enough damage. Hey, alright. That's why I figured I'd try this. I knew he didn't have that much influence. Mute, wall, and armor. So, walls decent, but I've already killed Ashura, and that's about the only time you really need it. Well, if you can get it off during, like, gold bez or something, that's nice, too. But that's why I have the moon veils. Yeah, I can't go uh, underground here. I've the only, the only other place I could dive is Tower of Zot for uh, the trapped treasure, which isn't even necessarily a key item. Or I can just get my ass underground. I like the second option. I can buy Mazamunes. Well, you know. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. Uh, I can sell one of you. Because you can't learn two of the same. And even if you could, it would be pointless. I have another dancing dagger so I can sell you. Still nothing I really need to buy though. I mean, I could buy the Mazamune, but I already have one. Two, actually. Wait. Yeah, I have two Mazamunes already. It's the Murasame I only have one of, so I don't know why I'd buy a third Mazamune.
Alright. Time to get out of here. Oh, is it Kaipo I said to go back to? I might I should go check that out really, really quickly. See what was there. Because I remember it was good stuff. But that's all I remember. I don't remember what specific good stuff. But I have money now. So I might as well go check out what the good stuff was. Because I'm going into harder territory, so, you know. Oh, yeah, it had a Zeus. Um, I could get a second one. That'll work. Nice. Uh, ribbon. I could get another ribbon or two. Definitely buying one. I'm gonna buy another Zeus, though, for fucking Edge. Or not Edge. Yang. Um... You have a ribbon. I kind of want to give it to, to Kane. But I think for now, Tella will wear it. It's not like it's the fucking... Wait, did that lower it? No, okay. I'm just seeing things. There's nothing good in here though, right? Poison, that's about it. And that's only really useful for Sid. Okay. I, I, I'll never scoff at uh, more ribbons. There's some seeds I've played where you can buy adamant armors. And it's just like, oh, okay. Everything's pushover wheezy, I win. I didn't go get the hovercraft. I'm stupid. Now we just get to hear the awesome airship theme some more. Alright, let's dive into Eblin Castle. Kinda wish I had some, uh, what you call it? cabins, but I haven't seen any of those. I've seen tents, but I don't think I've seen cabins. Hey, another ribbon. Siren. There's some monsters. Let me get these monsters. Uh, why not? Medio. Just because, why not? Oh yeah, you still have the Avenger sword on. That's scary. I forget how long Meteo takes to cast. Because I never use it. Regen on because I might take a little bit of damage. But so far, these aren't hitting too hard, so that's nice. Oh, 
All right, Yang's starting to hurt a bit too now. Another Mazamune! It's just the seed of Mazamunes! Um, I don't have any tents or anything, right? No. I'm on magic. I'm going to rest before I continue this. Because there's still like one more trap chest in there, I believe. Always one square too far. Disappearing off camera, I don't care. Deal with it. I'm just a little hit now. Right, now let's go get the last one or two trap chests in here because those could be key items we can't forget them hourglass three is very nice if I didn't have the white spear, blizzard would actually be nice. Hermes, eh, whatever. Not terrible to have, but I almost never use them. I found the exit! Ah, ah, ah. These have very high magic defense, so I don't think this is gonna do much. Yeah, just the one damage. But everything else is doing great. Pardon my sinuses. Hey, rat tail! I'll take it! That could actually give me quite a lot of things, so... I almost want to go turn that in real quick before going underground. In fact, I might as well. Because if that happens to give me, like, the uh, magma key, there's no need for me to go through this way right now. Odds are it won't, but still, it could give me something, and it's just, it's out of the way, but yet it's right here. So it's like, might as well just go do that real quick. I always go the longest way on this map, because it always confuses me if I don't. the earth crystal so I can actually go complete the tower of Zot now which gives me two characters I think I might do that actually like I'm still probably gonna have to go underground through the hook but I'd like to have a fifth well I'll get a fifth character there but I'd like to have my choice and make sure I get a good fifth character because it was like fucking Edward lying on the ground in the cave of Evelyn then you know Fuck that shit.
plus I get more loots. Am I filling up? I'm filling up. Yep, I need a sale. This is where I suck at this game because it's like I never know what I should or shouldn't keep half the time until I have the party there. I don't need longs. Nice with the flame. I don't need a Shura. Uh, I could probably get rid of Wizard and a Tiara. I want to keep Bahamut until I know what my final party is going to be. And I need to buy. I was just clearing room for the loots. Because yeah, Zod has two or three trap chests as well, so it could be up like upwards of like 40 items. And two characters. And two bosses. Fucking dark matter. That's what I get for spam clicking through this. Sell again, and then go up. <laughs> this is why I don't race this game. I don't have the items memorized well enough. I'm just kind of like, oh, um, stuff. I don't know which one's better. I gotta actually try to put it on and see. And I don't know what I want to use. I don't need power. So Quib's decent. I don't need that. I don't need that. Um, I, I don't need that anymore. Get rid of that. Don't need slumber. Don't need an elven bow. Don't need those. Don't need that. Oops. Monsters right off the bat. Alchies. Dennis. Red oh, diamond ring. Okay. Another ribbon. Is that like four ribbons I have now? I think I found three and bought one.
way to just dodge everywhere. Alright, who's the boss? Hey, Baron Guards. Fucking Edward. Oh. oh, I'm tired. Come on, Edward. At least be somewhat useful this time since you lead me to the back and help me save whoever. Hey, it's Sid. I mean, I'll take Sid for a fifth right now. So you're gonna be an archer right now. Ribbon. Dragoon, why not? Fuck you, Edward. Be over almost like that. Oh no, okay, it's a pig! Hey, there's Nuke and Life too. Alright. So, Earth Crystal's been used. What do I get? We see a pig dance. Oh, adamant armor. Well, she. Uh, I guess it's gonna go. Fuck. Like. I mean, shit, I want to put it on Kane, but Kane gets really good armor and doesn't need it otherwise. So the next choice would be to be put it on Fu. But it's possible Fu will be an in-game, but not likely. I mean, li most likely Fu will stay with me to the end game. so. 
Alright, um, time to go underground then. With the Eblin Cave. Another adamant armor. Alright then, one on cane, one on food, we're done. Like, there's no reason not to now. I can buy Bahamut's. Well then. What about lost my shit if I could buy out of an armors right there just because of how I just found one? Um Yeah, Sid's gonna have to be an archer for a bit until I get back to Kaipo. There. Before I find a mallet of his somewhere or a poison axe. I always think there's something up there. It's given me a lot of summons this run, but yet no Rydia. There's the monsters. Well, you know. Wait, what? They're weak to petrify. Wind spear. Me. Me. Hey, the only duplicate character. So I'm glad I went and did the Earth Crystal first because I would still have four characters coming down here then. Not like Sid's doing a whole lot for me, but he's still a fifth character.
Oh yeah, they're high magic defense too. I'm not even gonna take that shit. A lot of whips too. It's giving me a lot of radio shit, but not radio. Okay, a little terrifying. Because goddamn they're fast. And one of them's still not dead. Maybe I shouldn't have done the regen with who? Wait, are they gonna rewall? Are they are they gonna just kill themselves? That's funny. Oh, 
I don't think their script accounted for that. They're just killing themselves. Granted, Fu's not getting a turn either, so he's dying. As long as Fu gets one turn, I think I'll be alright. Alright, life two! On Yang! Because he has the most hit points! And I have life potions! So, I... This is funny. I didn't even know this was a thing that would happen. But, yeah, that's funny. Well, don't mind us, we're just gonna keep poisoning each other. Now, when one dies, they'll change up their attacks, though, so... <gasps> Which means I'm actually gonna start attacking the other one. Just to capitalize on the amount of time they're not bothering me. I guess I'll go ahead and burst Young. I don't see a real harm in it right now. The script's gonna change. Yeah, they'll start doing this shit. So I'm not out of the woods, because this is fucking damaging. And it's just so quick. Alright, now I'm out of the woods. And Tella didn't get XP, but whatever, fuck Tella. He probably won't take- I probably won't take him to the end fight if I can help it anyway, so. Alright. So, no, not Zermas. D-Lunars are dead. A Pitfall! Bonk. I'm in the underground. I'm in the underground. I'm in the underground. I just need to find the adamant and then either a pass and the dark crystal. And then I can beat the game. So, first things first heals. Second things first boss and character. And key item.
I mean, I got Fu and Tella leveled, so... Yeah, I think I got this. Ow! Who's next? I should probably move Sid to the middle spot too now. Better agility anchor for right now. Maybe even kill him off. I'll have to see what his agility's at. Uh, ooh, Karate Man! And Paladin Cecil. You know what? I'm gonna take him over Tella. Uh, yeah, because it's got a ribbon. Alright. So, Odin is dead. Karate is dead. I have Paladin Cecil. And Tella is gone away. Uh, which means I'll probably get rid of Sid if I find Rosa or... Well, really Rosa or Edge, but that would be the main. You have too much good equipment for Cecil, so it's like... It, I mean, I have... To, yeah, I got a crystal sword. It's like, it, I can't not use a since I gave it to him and he was already a paladin. He's too good, man. Too good. Yeah, I'm getting tired. You know what? Oh, drink break. Be right back.
Okay, I is back. Okay, I is back. I had headphones up backwards. Um, I also fixed the incessant beeping, ripping the battery out. So. Wake up juice. Alright. So what do I get besides Cecil? A power robe. Hardly anything significant. Oh, let's see here. What is Sid's his agility's already too high. So it's like, oh. Hey, there's cabins. Uh, gold apples or night or silver apples. Nice, but not worth going too crazy over money-wise. Um, let's see. Uh, charm over poison. No. Runax. Don't actually Runax. Might work for Sid. Yeah. Sid with an axe is probably better than Sid with a bow. Hey, Excalibur! Sword, probably the hands down best weapon in the game for Cecil. Uh, let's see here. I can give him a ribbon. Oh uh, shit! I guess he's wearing white for a while. And a crystal ring. I need some proper armor for him. If I get another adamant, though, it's probably going with him. Or am I going Rosa if I get Rosa? Sell a little bit, I'm sure. Uh, let's see here. Via, I don't need. Fire Bomb, I don't need. Succubus, I don't need. I don't need. Flame, Lit Bolt, Soak Web, even though it's useful. Then Silver, Chain, Flame. I uh, don't need Dark Matter, but I can't do a damn thing with it. Don't need Archer, don't need Cloth. Don't really need Stardust anymore, but I have trouble. Yeah, I'll keep it for now. I need to get rid of Excalibur. Loots, 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 loots. Another Excalibur. Didn't I just sell you? Guess I'm doing it again. That's done. I guess we'll go to the Fey March. And I guess I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'll put Yang in the back row for now. Actually, I can do Kane since I usually jump with him. I think jump ignores the rope. 
Nothing good. You also don't really have anything good. Hey, sirens. the grind available but I'm not gonna do that until I finalize the characters and I'm not completely sold on this setup cuz foo as solo white mage is terrible but I'm kind of blanking on where else I can get characters at oh the giant of Babel has two also I do need to loot these chests but I'm gonna run through and see what the bosses are and all that fun stuff. Because trap chest equals key items! So yeah, the package can give me a character still. The giant of Babel will give me two. That's three of the five characters available. Um, Where else do you get a character at? There's a... Uh, Hey, Magma Key, that was worthless. <sighs> I was gonna. Oh, uh, so yeah, the package gets me a character. Giant of Babel gives me two. Darkness Crystal gets me a character. That's four. Oh, one's in Kaipo in the Sand Ruby, already accounted for. Holy god, that's a lot of things. I almost want to buy ten Soma drops and give them to food. Fuck it, I'm gonna buy that many Soma drops. It's not like I don't have money. It's giving me all the things I could sell. Um, I'm not gonna give them to food just yet, because if I don't... I mean, I'll probably take food in game. I don't see why I wouldn't. But, I'll wait till then. I always want to search those things like they have something. Thorfax... All right, cabins, where'd you go? Oops. Let's see who the bosses are here, because they can also guard key items, so, you know. Actually, let's go see what the weapon shop has, just in case. Granted, outside of, like, Yong, I can't think of how I'd get anything better. Like, the armor shop's the one I really want, because if I could buy an adamant armor... Nope, nope. No such thing. Kind of hope I would get the pink tail too, because that would give me three adamant armors. Which would be awesome. I got Bahamut and Golbez. What the shit? the moon veils all I need is like one actually with ribbon I think that makes you immune to demolish too so I think I should be fine yeah so I think the only Slight problem is if Yang and Sid are the only ones who don't who don't die. That might be a slight issue. 
But then I could probably just redo the fight and then they'll one of them will die. Oh. One missed. Two missed. Okay, yeah, we should be safe. Should be no problem. Well, you know. About to say, stop picking on food. Okay, he did. Can be one of the scarier fights, but with the moon veils and the armors, I wasn't too bad. You gave me a ninja. Bahamut can kind of go the same, although probably a little safer. Just because I'll have a little bit more prep time. I don't have to worry about um, random deaths at the beginning. Sid's just gonna have to die, I think. Unless, well, actually, wait, wait, maybe, maybe. Nope, he's dead. Kinda sucks, cause whatever, but. That's the other problem, the wall's already wearing off, so I gotta recast it now. Unless I kill him before his next attack. anything. Well, see if this will do anything. Oh, he's gonna die. Hopefully that kills him. Okay. I can live with Fu and Sid not getting experience. So that means Muhammad is also down. So all the lunar bosses are down. 
And all I got was a ninja helmet and a ninja sword for this shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, Bahamut. Fuck you, Golbez. You're supposed to have good shit. Not this lame ass shit. Well, that was a productive trip. Whoops. Poison claw. Heroin, not bad. Exit, money, fuck you, don't need. So I can go back in there with floats. Because there's at least one, if not like two, trap chests. I'm not even looting a lot of this stuff now. It's like, oh, okay, whatever. Not a whole lot I need left in terms of gear. I'll take a moon veil. I just used all mine, so yeah. Granted, I think all the bosses you ever really need a moon veil for are defeated, so. Still, not gonna complain. Ninja! Hey, there's monsters. Warriors! That's interesting. Yang can't kick if he's floated. I've never noticed that interaction. Probably because you never float Yang in the normal game. The pass! Well. Now I just need the adamant and I can go beat the game. Starvale, I'll take that too. So that's all there is here. So I don't ever have to come back unless I really want Soma drops. I would really like to find Rosa and replace Sid with Rosa. And then be awesome and good and have a really kick-ass in-game party. But, you know. Alright, I'm not gonna blaze through this one because there's no freebies at the end waiting for me. There's also, like, four trap chests in this, in this dungeon, I think. I don't think you really need to float this one, it's just those four. I don't think he has any good armor yet. Yeah, he's using a crystal ring, so use crystal arms. Wait, what? The crystal ring is stronger and better than the crystal arms. That makes sense.
monsters! Ghosts. Not the spoopy ghosts! Anything but that! And the fear twos! All the fear twos. Oh, it is eight o'clock. Which is sadly around my bedtime, but you know what? I never go to the bed that time. I should go to bed at eight o'clock, just because it takes me an hour to an hour and a half to fall asleep. Which means 9.30 to 10 o'clock I'll be falling asleep, which is a good time to fall asleep for. But, you know, just one more. Uno mas. I'm just gonna cure a little. Stop trying to put me to sleep, I'm already tired. Sand Ruby. <sighs> Monsters. That hurt. Choppy, choppy. Okay, misses the heal as always, but he's also the most healthy of everyone. Monsters! More ghost seas! Um. Just gonna regen for first, and then just let the fighters beat up on them. They don't hurt too, too bad. Regen will counter a lot of it, I think, over the course of the fights. Or at least enough of it to matter. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'm stupid for using it. Who knows? I like I like regen though. I've always liked regen stuffs. Like heal over time type de damage over time and heal over times have always been like my favorite spell lines in games. But yet, in, in MMOs, I typically play a nuker, so who knows? <laughs> 
Thunder Rod. Monsters! More ghosts! This place is spoopy. It's got lots of ghosts. Ouch, that hurt. Another ribbon. Ninja Star, Charm, Ogre Axe. Uh, how am I doing on space? Kinda terrible. Let's see how. You can wear ninja, that's better than bandana. Not getting rid of ribbons for anything. Um, I could have had you in much better gear for a while. Uh, let's see here. Outside of a shield, which I guess I can give you one now. I sold all my shields. Oh well. You you don't need any change of equipment outside of a shield. Um, you need armor. You're kind of the same. You don't really need change unless I find something better. Like Stardust, I can give you that for the effects for those fights I've been grinding through where I don't really want to blow through all my mana, but uh, you also need armor. I didn't realize you were wearing Prisoner still. Ogre Axe, Blitz, uh, get rid of the Ninja Swords. Um, get rid of Poisons. Uh, I'll get rid of the TR because I have what you call it. Leather, Prisoner, Poison. I don't need the Exit Item. I don't need the Cure 2 really. Wizard helmets. Even the heroin, I don't really need, I think. I think they'll be better with things like white or something. Crystal Helm. Oh wait, ribbons are everywhere, so I probably don't need that either. 
Well, you know. Who isn't wearing a ribbon? Anyone? Why are you not wearing a ribbon? You should wear a ribbon. I don't know why I didn't give you a ribbon. Everyone else has one. The only thing is I didn't give a ribbon to Kane, but he has the glass helm on, and he also has adamant armor, so that kind of covers it. At least I think it does. Because I'm... I know adamant gives you high resist to, like, elemental. But I thought it was also, like, instant death resist, so that's the main thing ribbon covers. At least that I care about. Uh, why not? Just nuke one. Just get it out of existence. Nuke it from orbit! And the other one's out of existence. And we get another glass helmet. Um, sure. Because that is much more defense. Another crystal sword, eh? And more moonsters. Ha! <laughs> that did piddly damage. It's like a little tickle to him. Tickle, tickle. Of course I say that and they only that was a fourth of their life. So or a fifth of their life. So you know, maybe it wasn't such a tickle. Slumber? I don't want a slumber. Monsters! Oh, this fight, the toads. Croak, dearies, croak! Yas. Pretty sure everyone is protected from it, so yay. We're gonna see a lot of empty toad casts. Also, like, if she's the last one alive and gets a turn, she turns herself into a toad. Like, she can't, she couldn't handle the fact that you killed all of her toads, so she turned herself into one. For some reason, I always think there's something in that pot there. Hiya, Yang. Bye, Yang. I don't have a pan to smack you with. A demon ring. Do you have Cannon Yang? We have Cannon Yang. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I love that. I forgot. I need to be talking to people because they changed all the dialogues. Do you have Cannon Yang? We have Cannon Yang. Yeah, apparently, like, almost every single NPC in the game has dialogue changes. All right, um, I can go into the tower for a single item. And I can go talk to Yang's wife for a single item. And that's pretty much where I'm left at. Actually, I can trade the sand ruby in for character. But I don't know if I'd really want to. Like, the only character I'd want is the white mage, and I don't know which one was there. So I guess I'll see about doing that too. Just because it's a quick and easy character swap. So I 
Let's see which one's there. It's the Black Mage. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'll probably trade Sid out either way. Because he, he's kind of outlived his usefulness. I have Cecil, so he's not an agility anchor. He's not that great overall as far as... Uh, so it's Palom. And that is the Black Mage, right? Yes. So I think I'm going to swap out anyway. I haven't grinded yet. And having four melees in the in this game is weird just because of the row issue, so it's like, oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Although, I can swap you back to something else. Life Staff. And give you the Stardust. I'll go ahead and take your ribbon. Everyone in the party gets a free complimentary ribbon in their hair. It's like going to Hawaii. You get laid. But now you get ribboned. Actually, Kaipo had good stuff to buy, too. Couldn't they buy ribbons? Wasn't that it? You can. Don't want to buy a ribbon? I don't think I need to. Because I think I have five ribbons total, so I don't really need to buy another ribbon. I can. <gasps> All right, so I'm not gonna get ready at this point. So I can sell that. I can sell Bahamut. Because <clears throat> I already have a black mage. No need to swap them out again. Yeah, I have two extra ribbons. Uh, I can sell the crystal sword because I have one equipped already. Iron ring, rune axe, no longer needed. Sell the Dragoon. Sell that because I have the other thing. Sell those. Don't need that. I can sell a Lunar. I think the only thing I'd do is I'd swap Palom out for Rosa if I find her. If not, this will be the in game party, which might be a little rough, but with the gear. I have should not be too terrible. Alright, quick stop at Yang's wife. See what she gives me. And then back to the underground tower, because that's the only place I can go, unless Yang's wife gives me something nice. Just some Gadroon. So yeah, the Tower of Babel. I'll go ahead and do that just because why not? So the underground Tower of Babel has to have something in it to progress. Either the Baron Key, the Luca Key, the Tower Key, the Darkness Crystal. That's about it. It, it has to have one of those items in it. Because if it doesn't, I'm at a complete loss as to where I'm able to go. Because I can't get in the sealed cave. I've done the dwarf castle. I did the Fey March. I've done Yang stuff. Like, this really is one of those things where I'm just like, I don't know where I can go. Monsters! Alerts! It's an identified flying object. It's a dead object. You get them levels to palm. Ice shield, fuck you. Actually, Kane does need a shield still. I 
only think there's two trap chests in this dungeon. And I just found both of them. So we'll see what happens. Aegis Shield. That might be better than the other one. I don't know. Let's see. That's what I started with on him, so... Uh, slightly worse. Slightly better, slightly worse. It's like it's like a side grade. Better magic defense, lower actual defense. Crystal Helmet. Don't really need, but I took it anyway. Bunnies. Make sure there's no other trap chest, but I believe that was only the only two in there. Say further on that I could use, and that's just kind of a pointless trip. But habits, another staff, don't care about. Actually, I think Lilith is a good staff to use on a caster. It like raises their magic stuff, but I never. I don't know. I've never learned the item stats outside of the attack and defense values, really. Ograx, I did not mean to pick that up, but whatever, I'll sell it later. So, what's what what's progression are we gonna get? Oh, there's monster, so there was a third one. That's why I was making sure. So what item are we gonna get in here? I'm gonna say Baron Key. And then that'll give me the Tower Key. Which will then give me the Luka Key. Which will then give me the Darkness Crystal. And the adamant... Oh, there's the darkness crystal. Okay, well. Oh, well. The troll is dead. That opens up a character and all of the moon. Hopefully that character will be Rosa. Because I will gladly take two white mages over a white and a black mage. Hey, another monster. Alright, there's still more. So there's Tower of... The Giant of Babel has two characters. Darkness Crystal gives me a character that... Pack, ah, there's Adamant. I can beat the game. I'm going to finish this up here. Since I'm here. Mom Bomb! This could be interesting. Oh... I'll see what the free character is at the Darkness Crystal, because if it's Rosa, I'll do that. If not, I will try to beat the game with this party set up and in the game, because I want to go to bed. It's Moom Boom! Well, Palm's dead. <laughs> uh, Leaf 2? You... Whoop. Oh yeah, uh, no shield allowed. You start avenging, Cecil. There you go. Just like that. Avenge, avenge, avenge! There we go, Mum Bomb's dead.
Hey, Excalibur, worthless. So darkness crystal, grinding, and then um, in game. If I was racing, I probably wouldn't do the darkness crystal. But I'm not racing, I'm having fun. And I like Rosa. Rosa is one of my faves. This dungeon is also annoying because you can't exit out. What's up, Ritz? You, you catch me at the end of the long one. Three of them in game. There's the tower, the Tower of Babel. You can't exit out of sealed cave and Mount Ordeals, if I'm correct. This was kind of a fun seed because like every single lunar boss was dead before I went underground. I'm not going to go through the, the giant of Babel for characters. I'm just checking this one free one. Because I, I know I can beat the game with this setup. I just would like Rosa if I could get her. Although, I might take Edge over Yang if he shows up. Oh, it's Rydia. Um, I actually had Wyburn on flag two. So he did uh, a random thing. I think he actually berserked my characters. And he was also, he was uh, the first boss of the Baron Inn. So he didn't exactly have a lot of hit points. Yeah. I, I, I was stressed out when I started this, so I, I didn't want to make it too hard. <laughs> I had just come from the fucking shark attack troll. So I wanted something to relax a little with and have fun. Alright, what are you... What are you at? 40 agility! Jesus Christ. What happens if I give you... I sold it, didn't I? Oh well. Oh hey, the Avenger increases the agility. Eh, standard leveling. Not worried about anchoring then. Uh, just just go look at Discord posts. What I posted and.
Yeah, I got rid of the cursed rings, and I don't know if I have any of the dwarf axes remaining. Like, I'm just so used to playing it normally that I've never agility anchored Cecil, so I just don't worry about it usually half the time. That is not the item I'm meant to use. I only ever actually look at the agility anchor if I don't have Cecil in my party. Otherwise, I'm just like, ah, whatever, I'm used to it. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm not against avoiding Cecil. I have done that before. But I had a crystal sword. Actually, I had, like, three crystal swords. And Cecil was already a paladin when I found him. So I was just like, yeah. Plus, I have the Avenger sword to berserk him later. I, I was just like, nope, nope, gotta do that. Grindy time, grindy time. Yep. Gotta get the hit points up. Uh, I have a few, and I was able to buy them, but, like, you don't really need coffins for the fight. It's actually slightly quicker without them, I think. You only, you only have to worry about that when you first start the grind. I'm just being stupid. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm worried about. That's why I went to the moon to see if Rosa was there. Because the only other options for characters, speaking of which, the only characters I haven't gotten are the two in the giant of Babel and the one from the package. So she's either... She's either in the um, giant of Babel or guarded by the package. And I don't really feel like trying to find all those, so... I mean, I've been at this for two and a half hours almost. 
Because I'm on a, uh, what is it, key? Uh, yeah, I want a key item four flag, which uh, key items can be inside of trap chests. And I've pretty much cleared out all of the underworld and overworld except for the Luka cave because I haven't can't get there. So the package is most likely somewhere on the moon or behind something like the Luka key or the Baron key, which is on the moon. Or if it really wanted to troll me, the Baron key's on the moon, which guards the Luka key, which guards the package. So that's why I'm going with this party for the end game. All right, uh, a few more levels and I should be all right. I just want to get Palom and Fu's hit points up a little more. Uh, I have the crystal even though I don't have the crystal. I'm on the uh, Forge the Crystal variant. So I gotta stop by the blacksmith. Too worried about it though, like in game, because uh, I mean, I got White Spear on Kane, I got Crystal Sword on Cecil, I got ribbons on everybody, glass helmets, like, I got two or three adamant armors, no, two. So, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly well equipped. I'm not super worried about it, but I still want to get Fu's hit points up above the 2.3 mark so I can make sure he'll live through an unnerfed Big Bang. Although, I might have the money. I just don't remember where they were. I saw silver apples somewhere. And I could just go buy, sell everything I don't need and buy some of those. In fact, I have the Soma drops I can use. Oh yeah, I have one. I have that too. Yeah, I think I'll do that instead of leveling anymore. I think I know where they are too. So, if they're there, I'll buy, sell everything, buy. And then I'll be safe. And I think they were just right in here, which was nice. Ninja. Might as well be safe. Smith. Call the locksmith. Call the 
locksmith! Call the locksmith! has a dark silver, nothing worth I was half hoping to find the pink tail for a third adamant armor, because that would have been nice. But, you know. Save just in case. Oops, where am I going? To the village, not the castle. Have a good time saving the world. Also, Ritz, have you ever played through and talked to people in this? I need to do that. I said I was going to do that, and I never talked to anyone else. Apparently, like, every line of dialogue has been changed into something funny or different and a lot of crazy things. Some of them are just, like, helpful hints. But, yeah. I, I really like the Sylph's line. Do you have canon, Yang? We have canon, Yang. One in and two ends. Oh, all right, let's do this. We're going down, bitch. Also, I get to see who you are, who you really are. All right, one shake. Crystal, to shake. Uh, crystal get used. Okay. I've seen worse. Erg. Then we get marbles and miss. Osmus. I'm not sure I get the reference of that, but all right. Uh, nukes! Fortunately, I don't have any Bacchus's wines, so. Nookie back! Ouchies. That's not so bad. With, with the nerfed Big Bang, that will happen. That was a quick big bang. But it's nerfed, so. Ha ha! Also, I had that happen last time I played. He didn't counter. Like, he didn't counter a nuke. And I'm wondering what the hell. Like, I nuked, but he didn't counter. And it's like, wait a minute. You're, you're scripted to counter with nuke. What's the deal?
See, now he counters. But he didn't last time. And it's like, wait, wait, what happened here? And of course, Kane's not gonna get the heal because he was jumped. Don't kill me, dude. I was wondering if that's what it was, was like a phase transition thing, so. I just didn't know for sure. Hey, Medio! He almost did. Bye bye, Osmus! You, you gonna die. You gonna die probably right now. I'm calling it right now. This is gonna kill you. There you go. Alright. That was a decently fun scene. I, I definitely like uh, key four seeds. Because having to find uh, the trap chests. or Well, key three seeds. Three and four. Four actually means you might have to go to the moon before you can go underground. Which is, just means more difficulty, but I, I like the three and four seeds because the trap chests. Yeah, but I definitely enjoy those types of seeds a lot more. The forge of crystal, I could take it or leave it. I don't really feel it changes a lot. Like it's just kind of like, oh okay, I just have to find two different items, but. I mean, yeah, it makes you find three items to beat the game instead of two. So it's just kind of like, oh, make sure you're going to be longer. People puffs! This might have been a little harder if I had uh, No Free Lunch 2 on. Although, as I say that, I actually never had encountered any of the fights that would have mattered, so. Maybe I'll leave Wyvern's nuke on next time I play. Oh. Anyway, it's almost 9 o'clock. The game is done, as you see. Uh, I don't think I had any real reset, so this should be a decently accurate time. It's showing up. I think I had one death, so. Yeah, 219. That's, I mean, I've been streaming for 236. It's probably decently close, 230, probably. minutes to get started so any who's thanks for joining in everybody I'm gonna cut the stream here and start getting ready for beds and all that um, until next time see y'all later <laughs>